Hey everybody, this is Christina Soontornvat and I'm the author of A Wish in the Dark and I am going to tell you the two questions that you must ask yourself when you are writing a character. Okay, so I primarily write fantasy. A Wish in the Dark is a fantasy story. So I love to write stories where lots of things happen. So big plots, um, lots of magical things like dragons. I written books with witches and ice princesses in them and for a long time I thought you know that was the most important part the plot all the external stuff that's going on but I quickly realized that if you want to write a story that people remember and connect to and that really means something to them all of that external stuff the physical stuff going on in your story is less important than what happens to your character so the internal plot the internal change that your character undertakes so in order to write a character a compelling character that people are going to connect to these are the two questions you need to ask yourself you need to ask them what does your character think that they want what do they think they're going for in the story and what does your character really truly need and want on the inside. So I'm gonna give you a couple examples to illustrate what I'm talking about. So if you have seen the movie Moana, which is one of my favorite movies, probably my favorite animated movie, uh, Moana thinks that she wants to go and restore the heart of Tafiti. She thinks she wants to go get Maui and find Maui and restore the heart, right? What she truly wants on the inside is to figure out who she is. Who is she on the inside? That's why she sings. Who, you know, who am I? I've been staring at the water and, and eventually she sings, I am Moana, right? That's, that's what she's going through. Here's another example. In the book Wonder, Augie thinks at the beginning of the book that he wants to blend in and go through school without anyone, you know, noticing him. He wants to just be like any of the other kids. What he truly wants is to stand out and be loved for who he is, no matter what he looks like, right? And if you look on the cover of the book, the, co the book cover actually says, you can't blend in when you were born to stand out. I think, that's, I think that's what it says. So both of those questions they answered on the front of the book, what he thinks he wants and what he truly wants inside. And I'll give you an example from A Wish in the Dark from my book. So this book tells the story of two characters, has two main characters, Bong and Nook. And Bong thinks that what he wants most of all is to escape. He wants to, he was uh, born in a prison, he wants to run away, he wants to escape and be free. What he truly wants the most is to make a difference. He wants to change the world and make it a better place. The other main character is Nook. Nook thinks that she wants to find Bong and turn him back in. She thinks that her ultimate goal is to chase him down and capture him. What she truly wants is to be loved by her parents. So the reason that she's doing that is because she's trying to prove that uh, she's worthy of her parents' love, but she really wants them to love her no matter what. She wants to feel worthy. So that and that whole conflict uh, the, those questions about those two characters, it was what sets up the conflict between them. So my challenge to you is to ask yourself those two questions about whatever character you are writing. So, you know, maybe your character's going on a quest, so they think that they want to achieve this quest. But what is it that they really want on the inside? A lot of times when characters go off on quests, they find out that what they really needed to find was within them all along, right? That's kind of a, a common thing you see in an adventure story. Or maybe your your story takes place in a regular school and your main character thinks they want to like be the class president or win the science fair or win some sports competition. But what is it that they really are going for inside? What do they really, really need to achieve? And once you have those two questions, then you have everything your story needs. You have a really rich internal conflict and then you're going to have this amazing external story arc to wrap around it. So happy writing guys. Thanks so much.